But what about starting a discussion type question? If this was the bar chart that we want our students to be using, we could ask things like, what are we looking at? Or what does this make you think of? Or what's surprising about graham crackers here? And see kind of where that goes. Or why do you think somebody made a bar chart of a graham cracker? Why would we care about a graham cracker? So what of these molecules in the graham cracker? These are kinds of questions that could sort of open it up for them to start thinking and engaging with what is going on inside of this bar chart. Okay, what about inviting curiosity? This is a great one, tried and true. What do you notice? What do you wonder? What do you wonder can sort of invite that like, oh, these are my questions. One that I love is like, what does that make you think of? Or what other questions do you have based on this, knowing what you know, which connects really well into helping students determine their prior knowledge, right? Where it's a like, have you had a graham cracker? What do you know about graham crackers? What do they taste like? What do they feel like in your mouth? Or if we're, you know, another way to sort of elicit prior knowledge, get them to think about their prior knowledge, get them to make that thinking visible so that we can have a sense of their prior knowledge is like, which of these food molecules do you recognize? Which don't you recognize? Um, or how comfortable you are, are you with these different food molecules? These are different things. Or it could be, what kind of graph type is this? So are we looking at categories or are we looking at numbers? These would also help you get a sense of their prior knowledge of a bar chart. Yes, they love them. Yes, they see them all the time. And yes, they still struggle to make sense of that bar chart. Um, okay, so we've got check for understanding, starting a discussion, inviting curiosity, determining students' prior knowledge. Let's go back to beginning an inquiry. We pose this graph and maybe it's, what kinds of questions could we ask? What could we learn about graham crackers? How could we use this to explore more about food molecules or about food molecules and graham crackers or about food molecules and graham crackers over time or who knows? But posing it as a, this is the launch pad and how can I ask you a question that you use this as a launch pad to think about where we could go from here.